back to the most unreliable fucking streamer on the planet. I'm your host. Th th that person. I don't trust the sea gear anymore. Let's go. Hey, how's it going, Dusty? It's time for us to begin the other plot of the game. The second plot. Ah, uh, there he is. It's Looker. Oh, we already kind of know about that, dude. Oh, yeah. Columbo, he ain't. But, you know, give him some credit, I guess. This is the world of video games, so, you know, the, the pigs are allowed to not be terrible people. Hey, for for helping him, he gives us a fishing rod. Well, you see, clearly I should get one of my friends in here, because... It's... No, I, I did miss it entirely, too. I was too busy. I don't know. I don't even know what I was doing there. Being really out of it, apparently. Absolutely nothing. Hooray! Thanks, Looker. However, it is a fishing rod. Well, we can finally get a water type. Another water type, I guess. That's a good question, Mega Man. He might not be. He did run off, however. Excuse me. Oh yeah, Bianca's been locked out of the plot because she chose not to participate. Can't really blame her for that. Yeah, there's a lot of strong Pokemon that you can get through the fishing rod in this. Although I do sort of feel like, hey, uh, maybe they should have given that to you a little sooner. It's okay, in in Black 2, White 2, you can get Vaporeon instead of Oshawott, and that's still a good Pokemon. Yeah, that's definitely a good thing. Well, and some stone Pokemon too. I mean, we did catch Musharna at the beginning of our playthrough and use it for like 10 seconds. Hey, we got the National Pokedex last out of the friend group. I just think that's a little funny, in a weird sort of way. Yep, there's an area where we can enc encounter wild Metagross, where they are just as absolutely nightmarish to capture as the rest of their evolutionary relatives, because why would they change that, right? To be fair, I don't know why either. Oh yeah, Lilo has a big group, that's right.
Now, hang on just a moment. I'm trying to hash out, because there's a lot, and I mean a lot of stuff we can do to start with. So I'm like, what should we do first? Because we can either go to Opelousa and go to the right. I think we can go to Nimbasa and go to the right. Oh god, yeah, the, the ones that are trade plus item are particularly bad. And then, of course, there's just the dire, dire state of Evolution Stone availability, basically following Gen 1, I think. Maybe in Gen 2 they were still kind of available. Oh, hooray. That that lag made me worried. Yeah, there was Wild Steelix in Gen 4, so at least there's that going. Now, we're going to deposit old pinch back there because I want an open slot. I'm going to go get the Larvesta egg. Just so that way I can say that I've actually done it. Because that's been a, a thing that I just left over there for some reason. Plus, hey, maybe we'll see an excuse to fish. Oh yeah, I, I forgot that Gen 1, uh, Gen 1, I forgot that Gen 2 didn't really have, like, I just, I could have sworn that you had Evolution Stones in the department store again. But I haven't played Gen 2 in a while, and Gen 2, I've probably said this before, and I'm probably still gonna get just as much heat for saying it as I, I would then, but Gen 2, I do not feel has necessarily aged all that well, it has some design issues. Hey, one square encounter, nice. Always fun. Didn't I just disdain this thing a second ago? Bro, I am not interested in, in Watchog whatsoever. Like again, I, I like the the vest design, but the rest is just kind of Butts. Oh, okay, yeah. I, clearly, I don't remember because I haven't played it in a bit. But let's go ahead and fish a little bit here. Let's see what we can see. The game just gives me a basket, and I'm going to be sad. No, we can find something that's probably even worse. Oh, Finneon, this is a. This is a Pokemon, all right. I, in fact, I'm pretty sure that even if I were to catch and evolve that, it would be worse than Basculin. Unfortunately, Elect Electros is very slow, and just in general has kind of like slightly underwhelming stats actually because Game Freak was like, hey, yeah, Levitate and Electric type, that's kind of degen. Let's give it to a gym leader in Gen 9. Yeah, we, we were having a bad day there. Ah, oh, crud, that takes it back. Oops. Does it have s Oh yeah, cause... Move Tutor, right. It's like... I could've had Super Fang on this thing? But... Yeah, it's... It's gotta be a Move Tutor, right? And one of the ones that you can access in the Pokemon World Tournament. Yeah.
spray, we got the the egg. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, th I forgot that it was that. I, I thought it was that in like Black City slash White Forest was your, your move tutor move tutor locations, which will tell you how long it's been since I've played Black Two, White Two. Oh, hey, this chucklehead is here. Rude, or as it was, road. He's gonna tell me a bunch of lies about Getsis, probably, and give us TM32 Band Team. When I'm making the Seven Sages, um, that's a very good question because I've never really thought about it too much. I suspect that there is perhaps some honesty to their character of, like, believing in some sort of ideal, but also, like, they're, they're kind of lying because Getsis has just been a... Maybe they've been manipulated by Getsis the whole time also as a possibility because goodness knows that he does that a lot. Although also, wow, that seems like a long time for him to actually keep up the keep up the masquerade, but you know, maybe it's a it's technically a possibility. Yeah, nobody investigated when he suddenly dropped into Snapcube Robotnik voice over somebody posting his plans on Twitter.com or something. I don't know. Uh. The Ninja Trio, I guess, are just probably supposed to be like enforcers. There was a long-standing rumor for a very, well, perhaps I shouldn't say for a very long time after I just said it's a long-standing rumor because, duh. But there was a, at least for a period of time, I don't know if this is still, yeah, I don't know if that's still a thing that people think is that they were the Striaton leaders. But I don't believe there's any actual evidence from that, for that, pardon me. I don't remember offhand, but I believe there is no evidence for that. In general, I think that the overall thing with Team Plasma, just in general, that you have to remember is that their thematic and style is like more straightforward RPG villains than any other Pokemon villain team. So they have the sages and they have instead of administrators and they have these sort of like ninja guys instead of well, I guess instead of admins. And their design is a shield, and they have, like, sort of a... An air of, like... The, the design, I believe, is supposed to, like, evoke... The typical, like, chainmail quaff kind of... Design for it. Yeah, Crusader style, that's a good way to, to put it. Which also helps kind of evoke fascist imagery, also, I think, is a... A... A A plus design choice, actually, because I mean that there is something to be said there. That yeah, there's a there's a resemblance, all right. Team Plasma is the most fleshed out in terms of like design and the most work went into the the visual aspects. I would say. A couple of the others, well... They were cooking with Team... I, I almost said Team Plasma again, but no, Team Flare and Team Skull both had 
some aspects to them that were not bad. I mean, at least Team Flare from a, a design perspective. And Team Skull, Team Skull were kind of kind of dorky in terms of their, their visual, but hey, there's your Wild Kingdra, by the way. But for, for Team Skull, it's more in terms of the uh, just the whole aspect of them being, like, left behind. And the fact that you know, I I've said before, and it always seems to piss someone off, like, to a truly comical degree every time I bring it up. I have never said this without somebody getting deeply mad at me that Team Skull kind of seem like they're basically stand-ins for Millennials because they're also left behinds of a larger society by an older generation that doesn't seem to give a shit about them. Uh, we are trying to catch this, by the way. And they are unable, really, to make it in a world that just wants to, you know, put them through the meat grinder. But nobody can seem to get over the fact that they're just total goobers. And, I mean, I understand why it's like, oh yeah, they're real goofy, but also, god damn do people get mad whenever I say that Team Skull are like millennials. That everyone else inside of my area as a millennial is like, well, not me, and I'm just like, you're probably the most cringe motherfucker out of anyone here, and I'm, I'm a huge cringe lord, and I, you know, I, I find them to be resonant, which is something that I guess a lot of people just cannot get over certain parts of it, and y'all probably should. Uh, I don't know what to name this thing. It's a, it's a king jar, all right. Kingdra is this kind of interesting Pokemon because it always seems like it's just barely missing a little bit. Like, yeah, exactly. The the housing crisis. And eventually, is it going to lead to, like, something like the, the Potown event? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not, but... Long nose. Well, I guess... I guess it is not an elephant. Well, Rip Fampy's uh, future nickname, I guess. Right, and I think also a large part of it also is that like several of them have like this severe sort of depressive atmosphere to them. And, you know, clearly all of them are just like cracking under the pressure of, you know, needing to be something more. I, I'm, I'm stumbling over my words a little bit here, but I, at least I feel that the general idea is coming across for once, which is good. That yeah, it's a, it's a distinctly very resonant sort of design. I mean, obviously, saying that this Japanese game is designed specifically around Western values is kind of a type of egomania, I would say. But it is strongly resonant. It's sort of like the idea of being like, oh yeah, ff is about Christianity. It's literally about shit that was happening in Japan. It just happens to resonate because, hey, wow, Everywhere is exactly the same. I mean, not literally exactly the same, but in terms of certain very specific things, yeah, every part of the world has the same issues. So this area should finally be unblocked. Oh, 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 oh. There's a message on that signboard signboard here. Let's get a look at it. A Pokemon outbreak at Route 3. Yes, this is the new thing that's added in the post game also is that there are swarm events on the daily. 
that have a variety of wild Pokemon in them that were previously inaccessible. Wild Gliscor on this route, that's pretty nice. Yeah, there's a lot of good Pokemon that are available to us in this post-game here. So we can get ourselves a real party if we wish to. That sounds about like the case. It would be that or rustling grass. Yeah, they haven't redone it. I I don't know if people are like, oh well, the the multiple the the multi battle thing is wild Pokemon. I don't know if people were not down with that, but. I mean, it was enough that they recycled that part in Gen 7, so, uh, in a way, through the SOS battles, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Mercifully, this dude has a not-evolved Pokémon, so it, it takes us two hits instead of three to kill it. And it does, like, nothing back. Yeah, but Scarlet Violet needed, like, a lot of things fixed. <laughs> it's weird because it's one of the very few open world games that I can actually kind of stand. Because it's very chill. But... Even then, it, it definitely has a lot of problems to do with it. Ooh, ouch. That's... that's pretty nasty. Alright, well, let's... Let's get out the third entry in the Metal Gear Solid series here. And probably still eat a fuck ton of damage. I think they probably expect us to actually go level up between now and then, but there aren't really great places to do that. Or was I was I supposed to go the other way? That's that's also a possibility. Oh wow, the AI is switching. What the fuck? That's that ain't right, dude. <laughs> Something is wrong here. I'm not used to this. Yeah, let's just Shadow Ball it. Actually, it's Mantine. It probably will take, like, two damage. Anything we do. I guess we can sit here and we can hope for a, an SPD down. Oh, it's using Bounce. Are you kidding me? And! Best of all, hi, Retro. Best of all... It's Aqua Ring still works while it's in the air. <laughs> Thanks, game! <laughs> oh. Dick move. I don't think I have Curse Body either, so I can't even be like, well, the least you can do is let that kick in. So we're going to hit Recover again, and then we're going to switch. Uh, so far, we're just in the post-game, and again, I think I'm taking the areas on in the wrong order, because... Hey, you can do that. Yep, 
Yeah, we want to take as little damage as possible. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's slightly obnoxious. Yeah, I mean, it's... It, it could be worse. It just still is like, what the hell? Am I sure I'm in the right area? Okay, actually hit that, please. That should at least, like, remove... Well, it removed over half of its HP, which is what I was gonna say is... Yeah. Alright, come on, whiff. No, Damn! And of course, on top of everything else, we really have nothing that can outspeed this. Oh shit, I don't have sleep powder anymore. That's a little tragic. Uh, and here comes the bounce. I've been playing seven with mods for voice acting. Hmm. So I'm guessing that's like PC version. Well, yeah, it would have to be. Well, maybe not have to be, but otherwise, I'd think that it would be a lot for the the PS1 version to take take on. Okay, so it's using a separate launcher. Gotcha. Okay. Oh wow, not gonna bounce. I I was waiting for it to. Bouncing for me to be like, well, I wasted a, I wasted a PP. Instead, I just hurt myself. Gotcha. All right, so what do we got left? We've got Cacturn. We've got. Oh, jeez, I wish I had a bug move right now, actually. So I should probably go back and heal after this, and, I don't know, maybe see about having an actual sixth member of the party. I think it's very interesting, by the way, that they never decided to give, like, a, a rough skin slash iron barbs equivalent or something for Cacturn. Because it's literally a cactus. It's covered in spikes. You would think that an ability that would damage things on contact would make a lot of sense for it. Well, see, at least if it's specifically rain dish, that's like... Not much of a thing, really, because you can just hit them harder in rain. You know, nice trade-off, provided you have a water move, I guess. Yeah, see, this thing at least is dumb enough that its main move is Flare Blitz, so it's going to self-destruct on me. If it's like the... Oh, there's, there's others of those, though. That, that can be kind of irritating. If it's got Water Absorb or Storm Drain, those would also suck, too. Hey, we got a Lepa Berry. We have nowhere to grow these things. Damn. Let's go heal. Yeah, Heat Proof is not really a, a good ability to... If, you're a if your Pokemon's a Fire type and it rolled Heat Proof as its ability, that's... Disappointing. Snorlax with speed boost sounds great because you don't get much, actually. But 
I mean, yeah, it does it does ramp up hard and it's pretty tanky, plus also it's Snorlax. Alright, we're putting we're putting our Kling Clang back in the party. Ah, uh, I wish I could give it its other ability. Clear body would be much better than one of the plus or minuses. Oh! Oof, yeah, you don't want to fight that! If you can catch one, though, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, we need Waterfall to go down Waterfalls. Well, you'll be able to get there eventually, thankfully. I, In fact... I think Garchomp is the lowest level... Why is this thing level 26? <laughs> I think Garchomp is the lowest level, uh, oh jeez. Words hard. Garchomp is the lowest level pseudo-legendary evolution, period, I think. So, yeah, I think Garchomp is level like 48 or something. Oh, that, that'll make it even easier. I didn't even notice this thing was level 54. That might hurt, because it just final gambited me. Oh, uh, put me to nine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gross. Well, that's what I get for not paying attention. Uh, if I want to go up and down in this area, I need waterfall. Uh, that's kind of weird. So it's still sitting at 55? Excuse my yawning, sorry. I mean, that's actually a really good set already. I mean, obviously, Sacred Fire is nice. DD is kind of the, the big winner there. What does, what does it have for an ability? I guess is the, the next question. Does it have something to keep it a little bit more alive? Oh, it has Heat Proof. That's, that's kind of minor. Um, I think that's probably worse than Guts, but it does have good moves. Oh, nonsense. Scrappy would absolutely help. You just have to actually get a, a normal or fighting move. So I guess, depending on how bad the learn sets are. Right, well, Long Nose is going to be our our HM mule for the water here. Hydro Pump, get that. Never hitting for me. Shit out of here. <sighs> Sorry. Only normal attack is horn attack. I mean... Well, don't forget that this being in-game, having a decent chunk of PP, as horn attack does, can be a value in and of itself. Is this the only... Yeah, that's the only thing up here. All right. Because there's that little cliffside there that I'm like, what the hell? It's probably not actually anything, it just looks like it. Mm -hmm. 
Anyone else enjoying your one-tiled surf? Is Glare updated for for later gens to have 100% accuracy? Oh, hey, look at Weasel. I cannot run from this thing, that's for sure. It, it's not going to let me do that. So let's just T-hold it real quick. Well, both of those are, are quite good. You actually could just run Glare, DD, Sacred Fire, Rock Slide, and you would have a very good Pokemon. Like, I think that if you actually had that on, like, Showdown or something, that would be a fairly playable Flareon. If it didn't get, you know, gibbleted before it could actually do anything. Dugong. I'm only slightly threatened by this thing, mostly because it has 13 levels on me. Otherwise, it's Dugong. I mean... Dugong is a Pokemon, all right. Again, Dugong is one of those Pokemon that I just kind of feel like nobody's ever really been like, oh yeah, I need that in my life. However, Dugong sees use right now in Gen 1 underused in terms of competitive, mostly by virtue of being like the only thing that's there. It may have gone away, but it did for a while, that's for sure. Oh, this is gonna hurt! Oh, what'd I tell ya? Yeah, I I'm sorry, I was hoping it was going to boost again or something. No, nope, nope, nope. That's a pincer with a sword stance. That thing does not mess around. That said, pincer has like nothing to do anything of value to ghost types. What's it going to do? X scissor me when I quad resist? I'm not going to call that a safe switch, because that doesn't seem like a safe switch. This, however, is a way to get a safe switch. Just die. Yeah, of course we died to Hydro Pump, because at that point, why wouldn't we? Because, yeah, I don't want to take two hits on this. Because even though it's just Pelipper, it does have 12 levels on us, which is kind of a lot. Uh, we should be able to deal with this now, I think, because it is severely chipped. Oh, man, I wonder if it has, like, Earthquake. That would be funny. Uh, for now, it's just loading up more superpower. 
Ooh, ouch. Yeah, and a crit, too. That's the worst part. Alright, buddy, you've got nowhere to go here. So enjoy your, your boosting for nothing. I gotta surf. Oh, I'm glad I came down here. That's a, a very useful item. It lets you evolve right on by trade. So, actually worthless to us. Get me out of this hole. We have Waterfall now. We can go and use that at Lost Lorne Forest and get ourselves a free rare candy. I don't remember if there's a whole lot else that we can do with Waterfall right now. But I'm going to go look it up real quick. Oh, yeah, because I gave it up. That's right. Actually, that makes sense. Uh, I mean, I can just probably put that on Kingdra, though. I mean, surely Kingdra can use strength. Got that item at least. Can we get can we get at it from here? Yes, we can. We can also zip forward a little too much. Our, our rare candy. I've been led to believe there's also a hidden protein up here, which we may as well at least get a little bit of cash.
Nice. And again, we didn't even need to have strength on our Pokemon for that. So, we can go and put Kingdra back in the box for a while because we don't need that until Route 14. And I can go get something that uses strength. Like, I think Dwebble can probably do that. Dwebble seems like a Pokemon that knows its way around how to deal with rocks of various sizes. If not, I do have the fake dumb frog thing. And if that can't do it well... Then I'll be a little bit upset. We also should be able to go and the, I don't think we did the strength rocks in more of a Cirrus. He's long not been a guy who's existed in the game, or in the anime as far as I know. Us, and he's disappeared from the plot. Only to suddenly reappear sometime in the sequel. With his arm possibly being even less usable. Actually, kind of tough. We were a little bit lower level than he was. And he has heavy hitters. We also were lacking a couple of things that, like, could easy one-shot a lot of his stuff, so... Yeah, he's... he's harder than he looks, but also, I mean, it is still a Pokémon game, so it's not like we were in real danger of losing. <laughs> Although we... we did cut it pretty close, I'll say that. However, thankfully, he also has Pokemon on his team like Bisharp that are double weak to things that I had a good amount of. Oh, hey, look, it's rubbish. I don't remember what Iris has except for dragons, so... I mean, there genuinely are just some people who are not good at these games, so... yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Except that, yeah, we were supposed to go fly to more of a Cirrus, right? Yeah. Well, we can't fly to more of a Cirrus directly, but... We can go to Isira City. Well, that and like any of the the many easily available ice types the game gives you free access to because she's an 
ice type, a, a dragon type trainer. And again, I didn't choose to pick up like any of the ice types, I don't think, so that bears me saying something that's not bearing out in the long run. That said, later game trainers tend to not be where a lot of the difficulty is in a lot of these games anyway, as long as you keep up. Because usually what you end up having to deal with is the early game difficulty spike, more than anything. Like, Misty's Starmie is kind of infamous for being a bit of a pain. Not as much as some other Pokemon, but enough that it's notable because I mean that is a significantly stronger Pokemon than what you've dealt with up to that point because Starmie is really strong and at level 20 that's kind of gross and Whitney's Mill Tank is infamous for the fact that really you're Options are not amazing at that point, honestly, more than anything. In Heart Gold Soul Silver, you can find Heracross, but I don't know if that's a thing that you can do in the originals. There's. There's a Machop that you can get through a trade, I think. But otherwise, it. It requires some, like, sideways strategies, and also just dealing with the fact that Rollout is a Rock-type move, which is not great. And if you get unlucky, you're facing a level of power out of that attacking type that is a little bit gross for that part of the game. So I can understand kind of why, but also, like, just get better at the game. <laughs> What you do is you choose Totodile as your starter, and you just murder everybody because it's really good. Honestly, by that point, you can get to for Alligator. <laughs> it only needs level 30, come on. Actually, it is kind of a shame that you can't go get the pseudo Wudo. Excuse me, at that point, because Pseudo Wudo is just a very genuinely funny Pokemon. Well, you see, in that case, you do get good, just in a different way. You get good Pokemon. Yeah, if you go at it with your Pidgey or whatever, you're gonna have a bad time. But that's true of anything. Even Bugsy would whoop your ass if you were using a Pidgey. Have a little bit of self-respect and at least pick Spiro. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but only about that. Wow, there sure are a lot of Stunfisk in this... ...swamp. I mean, that's true, but... Is 
that the only rock that's in here? I actually don't know. There's a... There's a lot of wide open space in this area, a lot of space in this mall, so... It can be hard to tell where I'm supposed to go. Encounters, huh? I, I like how few of them are palpitoed. Just to really hammer home the fact that Unova is just the driest, dustiest, lowest water region. Shelmet again. <laughs> Is Shelmet the most bizarre out of the, the trade evolutions and the most like arcane that in Carablast, or is it something else? Because goodness knows there's a lot of Pokemon. It's definitely not the one with, like, the worst in terms of being confusing evolution requirement, period. I mean, we all kind of remember Runa Regis, right? The, the alternate version of Yamask that should have been Rock Ghost. If Game Freak weren't cowards. But... Well, also, I guess King Gambit is pretty weird, too, like... You expect me to figure that out on my own? Maybe it's explained somewhere, but also, like... It is definitely one that's also extremely complex, because it's like, hey, yeah, now... Now I feel like I gotta lead off with a Pokémon with Frisk that can check for... when this dude has... the things that I'm looking for. For a fight him, and I don't 100% know how to get to those rare, uh, those hidden items, because this place is very confusing. Oh no, okay, this is actually quite easy. This place is still, like, a lot, though. Plus, if you get the event set up here, this is also where Keldeo shows up.
Alright, just one more and we should be able to leave. But I gotta... I gotta go around and surf. Oh, can you... Get out from under there, Shelmet. No, I saw it and I... I saw it. Anyway, how many of these... Goofy helmet bugs do we have? Aside from... A very, very large amount. I like how it has this stupid, like, curl thing at the back of its plate, which literally exists just so that way it can be flipped over for S. Cavalier. That is some interesting evolutionary development there. Hey, that's actually a really good item. And I wish I had that earlier now. Right, now, surely we can fly out of here, right? Alright. Um, do I need strength anywhere else for the time being? I probably don't. So I'm just taking a quick look to see if there's anywhere I missed. I think I need strength for Giant Chasm, but that's later. I'm going this way because this is where I can uh, start poking around Relic Castle. So I remember that one of the seven stages is there. But I don't remember where all the others are offhand. Remember there being some issues with Heart Gold, Soul Silver on Desmume way back when, so it's very possible that that's just a, a problematic game in general. And it needs, it just is a, a thing that needs to eventually get sorted out with this emulator too. Oh, a, a chain of memory? Wait, no, sorry, that's that's the wrong joke. Actually, hold up, I need to... I need to do one more thing at the Pokemon League before I go and work on what I've just mentioned. We should go pick up some items real quick. Specifically, we're gonna grab 10 net balls. I think dusk balls would actually work fine too, but uh, yeah, you know what's in there. We're getting, we're gonna get some other balls as well, just that way we have some stuff to... If we see Pokemon that we want instead of what we have in our party, they'll be useful. I don't expect myself to have fine control over 
when I'm in the sand. Now here's where we unbike because yeah. We're dealing with this. Yeah, because I'm just thinking how and I cut across the fewest of these. Oh, hi, Professor Juniper. Yeah, we've heard about Darmanitan. 2,500 years. Mm, they must be fairly strong. Uh, thanks. Right, so we didn't have to go on another side quest for it, actually. thing's not worth us fighting because it has all of like two exp at this point this should give us the suck yeah it gets over here one more down and that will bring us to us finally reaching the lower reaches of things here Okay, yeah, it's the cool service entrance here, right? Yeah, that's gotta be it. It's not going to be worth a ton of experience because it's just Onyx, but it is level 48. It's also going to require us to hit it twice, I'm pretty sure. I love how even Onyx is faster than Electros. I mean, Onyx actually has good speed for a rock type. Oh wow, this one didn't have sturdy, I'm amazed. Yeah, it's it's pretty good at that. It's good in Little Cup. It's a actually kind of a a very high tier Pokemon in that format, from what I remember. As a consequence of that, it can it can set stuff up really well, and Rock Ground actually became good eventually. Are you? It's trying to grudge me. 
Well, that's very, very funny, sir. But I'm just going to have to not. Did you cut that shit out? Yeah, Trap Pinch is also pretty good in... in a little cup. They banned Girafferig instantly from Gen 9 a little cup, which almost makes me a little bit sad. I would have loved to have seen that thing actually get a chance to be good in something. Yeah, no, Giraffe Rig would be... Uh, I think that probably helps, but uh, I think it's just the fact that Giraffe Rig had really good base stats to begin with. Which was made even better worse from the addition of Eviolite. That's surprisingly painful. But yes, there's a lot of infamously questionable Pokemon that ended up becoming very good in the World Cup years later. Like, Porygon is one like that. Okay, Sand Slash has a lot of physical D. Let's see how it does on the special side. And yeah, that's gonna do absolutely nothing because it's faster than us. Actually, let me have Gyro Ball on Electros. Come on, game. I know it doesn't fit, but I don't care. It would be good. That's what matters. Is this thing is slower than shit. Oh, then counter rate. I'm feeling like I probably should have the boat eater up front so I can actually, you know, fight most of these things better. Alright, buddy, let's see what you've got in here. Oh, he's got a Crocodile to start with. That's pretty significant. And by to start with, I mean that's his only Pokemon. Alright, let's see if we can chip it first. Oh, that's gross. I don't have a steel type in my brain. He's got Moxie on his brain. Oh no, I've got. I mean, that's not really the the best Pokemon that we could be using right now, but it's about the only thing I can get in. What's my hidden power? It's like poison or something for this guy. What gear grind? Oh, we got speed actually. That's kind of impressive.
Yay! Hit himself in his confusion a bunch. Good moxie, buddy. That worked out really well for you. Uh, if you fall and you can't get up. Yeah, get get out of my way, dude. Alright, so now I gotta pull up the maze chart here. Let's see if I can figure out the way through here. These are all top-down maps. There he is. Let's ambush him. Oh, hi, Claydol. Well, I guess I should be able to at least do some damage to this thing, right? Especially if it wants to waste a turn using Sandstorm, that's always fun. Yep. Net EXP. Nope, the waddling. Uh, no, I thought that was... Uh, I went with the same reference, because Megaduce is the, the class of mechs that the big O are, are, but... Yeah, I went with the, the other way around. I, I figured you did, it's just... I'm saying it for the rest of the audience. Aw, uh, dang it, he... Remember to leave something on the tile underneath him. Crud. Again, because you're a JRPG guy, and now things have broken down around you, you have no idea. Hey, Calm Mind, nice. Four more of the sages remaining, but also there's something much more important in this room. Something that we're actually going to save for, too. Just to prevent a little bit of headache. So, level 70, Wild Volcarona. We can kill this and get a boatload of experience, but more... More importantly, we can catch this thing. Now, I'm not sure if this will work, but if it doesn't, we'll... Just have to chip it down the old-fashioned way with our Pokemon that are 20 levels too low. Hey! Instantaneous. I've got a nickname for this, but give me a second to 
respond to a post real quick. I'll I'll put something in in a minute. Just give me a second here. Anyway, yeah, I guess this one's male, so naming it Mothra doesn't quite work, so it, it will be Mothula. This time. And that's actually quite possibly a better Pokemon than our starter. Which is nice, because I have been feeling continuous buyer's remorse about that thing. Of course, I actually put it in our party and gotta get over there. I've also got to figure out how to get to the path that gets us... Is it just going to be going out to the right? Is this not even a maze and it just looks like it? I could totally believe that. Oh yeah, we have the HP ground, so that actually... This is... Oh, if I got Adamant, I mean, that's probably still usable. I mean, for a start, it's also, like, really, really high level. So, provided I set its moves up decently. It should still be a usable Pokemon. I 
hope. Yeah, this is literally not a maze despite the description on Bulbapedia. It's just a bunch of rooms that are like this. Mostly, I, I say it's not a maze because everything is connected, basically, in a, a logical manner. There's no weird walls that don't make sense. Oh well. I say that and it's probably still a place you can get lost in, so... Seed. We'll just grind this thing to a paste. No, it doesn't, so that's why we have the move pool based on on this. This is the one that you get from an in-game trade. So I think the ability is set. I mean I would I would just eat being locked into pedal dance because it's 120 base power. I think I'd be able to, to deal with it. Another sand flash. Yeah, it's giving me the one tiles a lot. The game is rude. Thankfully, if it wants to keep throwing me Sand Slash and stuff, I can just eliminate those instantly. Sand Slash, a Pokemon that in Gen 1 was literally just better Marowak, and I find that very funny. And then Gen 2 happened, and Marowak was like, what did you just fucking say about me?
There we go, that's what we're looking for. TM26 Earthquake. Absolutely fantastic. What a nice thing to get. Thank you, game. I wish it wasn't in the post game, but whatever. It would have been nice to have that before the Elite Four. It's okay, we're gonna fight him again eventually, so. Granted, now that I say that, I think everything that I would want to have that actually has that already. Unless we change up our team, which, goodness knows, I very well might. Because, yeah, we are gonna box our starter. Yeah. And, I mean, she can learn it, but... If she's not gonna be in the party anymore... Do any other changes just yet? I mean, we could put Sawaddle in the party and start trying to level it up towards having Livani as a different grass type if we wanted to. Otherwise, though, I I like my party at this. Well, okay, Kling Clang is like the big what the fuck are you doing there kind of moment. But I'm not 100% sure what I would swap out for that. I'm gonna have a look at some things that are available. Give me just a moment here. For, we could look for Bisharp in the Dark Grass on Route 11 if we wanted to. The list score is a 5% from rustling spots. Water type options are actually not that great if we wanted something instead of Jellicent, but I I like Jellicent actually. It's an alright Pokemon. Um, yeah, I think well, again, Lilwo is actually really good, so. I mean, it has like two moves, but it anyway. Actually, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna do some some stuff here. We're gonna swap Lil Lil out for Cloaker. And as for Pinchbeck, I'm gonna... Uh... Probably just groan a little bit as I go, oh, well, fuck my entire life in terms of getting... Uh... Sharp.
but we're gonna go for it. Shit, I need to get Waterfall, because I need to be able to go down to the dark grass. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Where, where are you? Bell, there we go. Hand that over to Cloaker because Levani is a happiness evolution. gonna be worth a ton, a ton of experience, but let's go for it. And hey, a, a level 49 Buizel that's probably gonna be worth even less experience, I'm not paying attention, but... He's too fast for us to run away from, so... Mandibuzz and a Seviper. That's some interesting Pokemon we've got here. Debolt, Earthquake. Well, Earthquake at least will deal with the Seviper, probably. Ooh, yowch. Wow. Talk about a surgical strike, they both knew exactly where to aim those dark type moves. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, we're we'll taking damage from it. Seth Viper, you wanna like just fold real quick? No, it doesn't. Crud vapors. Well, we still got plenty of hyper potions. So at this point, the hell with it, we'll actually just use one. Yeah, okay, who gave these wild Pokemon AI? Jeez. That's kind of fucked up, man. I'm not gonna lie.
Also, wow, neither of those were worth much experience. I mean, I know it was split, but it definitely felt like it was kind of just dirt EXP, really. Like, wow, that was nothing. Yeah, of course, Black Ops Fast would be dumb. Dumb. Obviously. It's also a tanky little bastard. Uh, how's it do on the special? Well, it's just as fat on the special side. Sheesh. Gligarth, the weirdly sturdy Pokemon. Show me the money. No, I don't even want to be in this fight. These things are worth nothing. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get a win. Even more unfortunately, Glygar has guillotine. That's... I dislike that immensely. Can you guys, like, start not hitting your attacks, please? That would be cool. You know what, we'll we'll do things this way. <sighs> Missed the one I actually wanted to hit. some better moves or something. It's, it's moveset is currently looking a little bit redundant, but we can throw some stuff in here. I think. I don't remember what we have that's good for it. Yeah, it's it's got Silverwind in its moveset, which I don't need, but I forget what all I can teach it. Let's let's take a look through our moveset here. I didn't check its hidden power type, though, because I forgot to do that. Oh, no, I didn't take a look at that. It's sassy nature, so it's one of the ones that's less of a thing that affects it, really. Yeah, no sludge bomb for us. I don't want to teach it Focus Blast. Ugh. Focus Blast. Disgusting. Yeah, it's... It's sort of 
like neutral ish, and I mean, we're already looking at a decently fast Pokemon to begin with. So, at least I think Volcarona is pretty fast. Yeah, base 100. That seems. That seems viable to me. I don't know about the rest of you. Um. Sorry. Actually, I, I guess I should go look up my hidden power, shouldn't I? Let's go off to Mr. Alton. And hopefully find out that it has something like really, really sickeningly good. Water. Ooh, that is a pretty nice hidden power type, actually. Pity I can't teach it Giga Drain because that's a that's a move tutor from Black 2, but I'll give it water type hidden power. Jeez. I mean, it definitely would make a hell of a noise in the, in the vents. Wait, no, that was Kelvin Coolidge. Pardon me. That's a... That's kind of a, an odd joke. Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Go back this way. Silver powder attached to it for some reason. That's that's neat.
Right, we don't have to try to mess with those in order to push better encounters. We just have to get into fights in the grass, that's right. We haven't attached the EXP share to Sawaddle yet, just so that way we can try to shorten the amount of time that it spends in Swadloon as much as possible. Also, that's a pretty hardy duck. Wow. Please have the Bisharp in the encounter, at least. No, burns. Well, that's okay. At least the Zangoose should just explode on contact with anything because Zangoose is like entirely a glass jaw, if I recall correctly. Ah, eh, not quite a one and done, but still pretty good. Ouch. That's pretty nasty crit. Yeah, unfortunately, we are looking for something with only a 5% uh, chance to show up, so that could be a little rough. Oh, hey, this thing has False Swipe, though. We haven't seen anything like that. Wow, the Zangers is still faster than us, even while it's paralyzed. That's pretty special. Gligars are not really worth fighting. I mean, I'm not 100% sure how much the Golducks are going to be worth fighting, too, especially if they use Amnesia like this. Maybe they'll take good dam damage from Crunch and stuff instead. Yeah, let's just spam Crunch on them when they're doing this. Level 55, not bad. Not bad at all. That's right, Solar Buzz, we can take this out real quick. 
by real quick, I mean, it's going to take a couple of hits, but... Haha. <laughs> yeah, well, if it can't hit us very much, we can just do this. Easy peek. Oh wow, it didn't die, are you kidding me? It's got like one HP, doesn't it? Would you fuck off? But first, make sure you leave your EXP points somewhere where I can pick them up nicely. And of course, we didn't land a single hit on Ligar. Great. Well, we actually have something that can hit it super effective because we have HP Water. Sploosh! Oh, that's some pretty big damage. Yeah, that's definitely what we were missing. things are here. I swear they're real. Just a 5% encounter. Well, I guess at least... Oh, Carablast is a 5% encounter, too. And I got more on it, so. That upsets me a little bit. Actually, it feels like we've been encountering surprisingly few Mandibuzz, considering they're supposed to be technically the most common thing here at 25%. Golduck is the second most at 20%, and we've encountered so many more Golducks than we have Mandibuzz. 
In fact, I think we've encountered more Sev Vipers than Mandibuzz, and Sev Viper is the second most common or something. So basically, those numbers are all just completely made up. Which we knew to begin with, but still. the Golduck died first. Unfortunately, wow, we're taking a lot of damage over here. I'm gonna have to go back and heal at some point. Obviously, Mothiel is not gaining a whole lot of experience, but that's fine. He's level 70 after all. And here's another Gligar. I don't like fighting these things. They're, they're worth nothing. Really. Ah, good. Oh, there, there's another Mandibuzz, I guess. They, they do exist, I swear. Yeah, yeah, it's not that effective on it. Hold on. That's fine. Hey, nice. A good turn, because we got away with taking no damage whatsoever. Get that gold luck out of here. Shouldn't need to even worry about Flash Cannon, because this Bug Buzz should take out Mandibuzz. Level 32 Basculin? Yeah, I don't think so. That's not worth anything, really. You can go to hell, game. Sure. 
And yet there's Gligar going down like a sack of potatoes. Oh yeah, I'm sure that those defense downs are really going to matter for Zangoose of all Pokemon, right? Right? Uh, why? Did it twice. At least it didn't do a two in a row. saying that I was really setting myself up for something, but somehow it didn't pan out. Just let me leave this thing. It is worthless. This exists only to, to steal my HP, and I don't appreciate it. Honestly, if I was a little smarter, I would probably lead off with... Oh, hey, you can find Amoongus here. That's interesting. I was gonna say, if I was a little smarter, I'd lead off with Mothial and just use that as our... our runner, basically. I'd be like, oh, hey, I'm faster than anything here, so I can run away from it. Hey, we didn't hit Golduck with Heat Wave, but that's fine. We haven't really done much damage to it anyway. And somehow we actually managed to kill the Amoongus with that, which is a shock, because that's a very tanky Pokémon. Yeah, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna hope that we find the Bisharp kind of fast, because otherwise that's just more annoyance for me. Yeah, especially when I get into the double encounters. Which, again, can't really rely on being able to get away from those right now. God damn it, that's the opposite of what we wanted to happen in terms of any if anyone was gonna dodge it. Alright, well it's it's sucking in light, so. Sure. Yeah, Bug Buzz damage is still pretty good. I just don't want to waste a Heat Wave on it, because, yeah. I don't have a lot of those, and I have a feeling I'm going to need them to deal with these multi battles. I feel like by this point I could probably have caught a Ponyard and raised it up to Bisharp the regular way, but... I'm, I'm determined, or something. 
or maybe just incredibly pissed off. That's right, I will make you watch three hours of me trying to find a 5% encounter when I get the other one in this route like 10 times. Listen, I skipped over replaying Charge Stone Cave. I didn't restream that. You didn't have to see that bullshit again. Ah, yes, two ducks. I don't want to fight this at all. Hooray, easy run. Thank you. I could probably equip the smoke ball to one of my Pokemon and just make the runs even easier. Until I find what I'm looking for. Alright. Game, just another Carablast. Ugh. I I hate seeing this thing. Just a Pokemon that viscerally pisses me off.
There it is. Holy shit, they do exist, everybody. Found a wild Bisharp. Now, let's avoid killing it. Unfortunately, it's in a double battle, so I can't quick ball. Because someone at Game Freak is a real asshole. Hey, do you remember in Pokemon Coliseum where you could aim properly in a double battle? With your Pokeballs? Regardless of how many targets there were? Yeah, I do too. And some people will probably consider it slightly heretical to be like, Hey, yeah, that was a better game. But I can assure you... ...that Megadeus is probably not going to get to do shit damage-wise. And Mothula just can't really touch this thing, otherwise it's going to die in one hit. Fly should be enough to, like chip it and not kill it, but actually chip it a decent amount. Oh, fuck right off, dude. You do not know that. Come on. Well, we, we lived. That's cool. I really should never have gotten rid of Sleep Powder on, on Lil Lil. Not that that would have helped right now, because guess who's not the party, but also... Oops. Also, speaking of... of... upsetting things, that amount of damage from that Night Slash crit, that's kind of disgusting. Alright. Aim for the one that... Uh, wow, this thing is being a real, real jerk right now. I. Do you have a status move, Long Nose? You have like Dragon Breath or something? It has Dragon Dance. Fi and piss on you, buddy. Now that I've said something, but we should be able to brine it down a little bit more and not kill it, hopefully. And we can PP stall with Sludge Bomb. Uh, actually, I want to take a look at this thing's stats real quick. Summary, uh, it's got worse attack than special attack, but not by enough to think that Waterfall would be the better choice. Alright, now, now don't make me mad. Oh, it didn't make me mad, but it was certainly fucking trying. Alright, well, uh, I, I think this is going to be our, our one and done in terms of trying to catch this thing, because... Ooh, Doctor. Right, it, it's nighttime out, obviously, so Dust Ball will actually have a good chance of killing it. Or killing it, catching it. I'm thinking that I may have to kill it in a moment in order to prevent wiping. Get the damn ball. There we go. 
Fuck, man. The game really does not want me to have this Pokemon, which means it's gonna be super good, right? Right? <gasps> ah. I, I got a nickname for it already. It, 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 it's gonna be called Queen Maker. It's it, it's like a King Maker, but it's you know because um it, it, it's a it, it's a chess joke kind of sort of because in chess the the king is just there to prevent you from losing. And it started out as a pawn, but promoted to a bishop for some reason, like a fucking scrub. At least choose to be the horse, jeez. Come on. You're never gonna make Bobby Fischer happy with that kind of bullshit, although to be fair, that's Bobby Fischer. Why would you want... Why would you want Bobby Fischer to be happy? I'm fine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there it is. However, I'm still leaving Cloaker with the other thing for now, and with that being done, we can switch Bismarck back up to the front to get towards level 60, I think is going to be our goal for our Pokemon. And for that matter, I guess I should equip the EXP share on one of our other Pokemon that we're not currently using to narrow the gap a little bit. One of our two ghosts down here. Oh, there's more trainers here, I forgot. Hey, you. Yeah, there sure is. Do you have a hidden item in here, or is this just a goofy spot? I don't know. Does this heal me or something? Ah, uh, this person's speaking French. I haven't taken a French class in... Well, I was still in grade school at the time. So, let me tell you, I didn't use it for Jack Diddly... Dick after that, so I don't remember my French very well. Except that I'm going to assume that that is the correct grammar. And we take heal damage, too. Wow, fun. Does sign say anything? No, it just tells us that what the next area is. Okay. That's an option. Alright, so here's Village Bridge. This area is kind of like halfway between a town and a route. Also, if you bicycle up, it does not change the music. 
But I believe if you talk to people, it adds instruments to the to the track. It's kind of like that one trumpet guy in one at in Earthbound. If anyone remembers that particular NPC. Oh, gross. Poison fang. That ain't right. Ah, yes, I love toxic. I love getting toxed. Get that thing out of here. Yay, we gained a level. Oh, at least let me untoxic. Come on. She's got six Pokemon. Are they all going to be like high level junk? That would be funny. Hey, there's a Slugma. One of the worst Pokemon ever. And that is high and yet also low praise. Electrike. Yeah, we can flatten that pretty easily. Oh, sending out Poochina instead of Electrike. Wow. Again, more trainers who just actually know how to switch. It kind of impresses me. But sending Do Duo. Um, I don't have great ways of dealing with that. But I guess I can show off my new Pokemon. That's some good damage for not being very effe effective. Then again, Thrash is strong as fuck, so I guess that's kind of fitting. gonna charge to its credit card or something. I, I don't know where I'm going with this. And lastly, nose pass. Nobody's favorite Pokemon, probably. If it's yours, no, it's not. <laughs> Quit lying to me. It's Nose Pass, come on.
All right. Pretty easy win, which is nice because, yeah, uh, I didn't even get a chance to heal from my poisoning here. I almost started looking for Poison Heal, which is kind of stupid. That's an ability, not a, an item. Ah. Nice. Swagger miss. That is very good since our main source of damage here is T-Bolt. And who wants to get confused? We don't need any of that. That's our regular daily life anyway. anything to say or are you just staring at this garbage can? And see that it adds a little bit of voice to the, the background music. Pretty neat. Okay, getting on a surfing Pokemon just muted it for a second. I was like, wait, does that kill it? Wow. Excuse me. Almost zero experience in this thing, basically, so... the same fish every five minutes. By five minutes, I mean five seconds. And by five seconds, I mean even less than that because it's exactly five steps. Well, we don't have hit points to worry about, so I don't need that, but cool, I suppose. You can do that in not too long. There aren't that many maps. Yeah. 
surprised there aren't, like, more battles or anything around here. Maybe there are, and I just haven't gotten to them yet. M but maybe part of that is really only because there's just these two so far, so it's like, hey, there's all these people and none of them want it. Except these two? Alright. And an Amoongus, which we don't have great... Well... Obviously we need to switch in Mothula and deal with it that way. But otherwise... Otherwise our options are not... As good as I'd like, that's for sure. Oh, X Special Defense. Oh, that's annoying. Let's Quiver Dance a couple times real quick just to get our stats up here. Spore. Fuck off. Boy, I'm so glad they decided to make this thing the tank, right? It blanked my fucking statue. Uh. Good, I'm glad that that's a thing that you can do. You're, you're so cool. You're everybody's favorite, dude. Just fucking die, please. Amoongus should not be as good as it is. Like, it it doesn't look like it should be. In terms of its stats or anything, that's for sure. So it, it just ends up being this, like, weird outlier. Of how is it this good? But send in Ekans, well... That's a step in one direction or the other, that's for sure. I think we can probably just sploosh this thing in one hit. Oh no, it's gonna make us do two. Alright. Now that we don't have to worry about the Intimidate, we can switch in Megadus and we can Earthquake. And lastly, Seth Viper. This might actually be vaguely tough in a way that's not just hey I'm being really annoying because it's comparatively high level and has real stats but I think we'll be okay we'll just have to earthquake it twice at worst hey nice Turning on this thing and keep the bike on. All right. Uh, I was just trying to turn game. Or store. That's nice. Random encounter with a level 60-ish wild Pokemon. It's just a Golduck. Yay, it's more Golducks. Wow. Such variety. In this location.
Well, it just stole my stab. That sucks. Get out of here, Bulldog. if it's time to switch over to EXP share for Sawaddle so I can get to the Vanny. Hey, there's our there's our energy ball TM. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know how important that is right now. That's something that would be good for our jellyfish, but otherwise. I don't know what else can... Oh yeah, Cloaker can get that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that'll be real helpful at any point in the proceedings here. Let's replace that with... That's... And just do some grass encounters here. Oh, hey, a wild Kakuna. That's right, for some reason you can't encounter the... the Caterpie or Weedle in the wild, but you can encounter Metapod and Kakuna. You can also encounter their evolved forms from rustling grass, but, you know, not likely we're going to do that, but, you know, who knows if we actually see one or not, right? And obviously that thing is worth, like, diddly squat experience-wise. Oh, hey, look, Combi, this is... Honestly, kind of a useless thing to encounter, because... Combi is a 7 to 1 male to female ratio, and male Combi cannot evolve. I hesitate to say that this is going to be worth experience compared to what we've been fighting, but, I mean... Yeah, actually, sadly. Unfortunately used swagger, that's really obnoxious. Yep, now comes the... the carnival of fun. And by fun, I mean dog shit. Oh boy, Razor Wind. That's a move that exists for some reason. I dislike this bird. I said I dislike this bird. Get it out of here. Well, at least Feather Dance doesn't matter to me, but man, they made that animation longer needlessly, huh? Actually, that kind of helps me, because, yeah, then I can't hurt myself as hard with the swagger. Very funny, 
Tranquil, you're a, a Pokemon all right, that's for sure. Only one more level, I believe, and we get Swadloon. If I remember what the, the level in there is. Oh, hey, a Rapidash. This is actually a Pokemon that might be worth some experience. And probably also won't annoy the shit out of me, which is a real shocker. That's enough horsing around for you, buddy. Candy and no evolution yet. Fuck. I am not terribly surprised though. Yeah, take that and over here we'll. lucky egg and we'll give it to the boat eater. I actually want to go get to the next town so that way I can heal first. And meanwhile this fight is like barely worth the PP but we can throw a sludge bomb at this thing. We shouldn't need that many before we get to... Cherim is worth, like, two experience at least. Surprisingly, it didn't die in one hit. I... Here we are at the next town. Let's save and let's take on the trainers back in Route 12. And that will be the end of the day. off of the Pokemon that I should be able to one-shot even if it's not really worth much experience. Wow. 
Wow, I didn't one-shot it. Really? It's Paris. It's not that strong. Yeesh. We're mad of that is easily dealt with using fly. What a terrible Pokemon. I, I may have to hit it twice, but... Nevertheless, what a terrible Pokemon. Bermadam doesn't have the stats to back up anything, really. Oh, that's... A, that's a spicy meatball, actually. Wow. It's okay. It reduced its special attack severely. I don't know if it'll even be able to... It probably still can kill me, but... Well, not if it uses Psychic. It Probably can't. Yeah. Shadow Punch. Tragically, it wasn't Grass Worm Adam, which would have gone down in one hit easily. Or pretty dang close. Yay, I found a tiny mushroom. Oop. Another one. There's probably a lot of those around here. I mean, this is the route where you can find Wild Paris anyway, so... It would sort of make sense. And a big mushroom. Hey, Pokemon Breeder. Oh yeah, the daycare is a thing. I forget about that all the time, really. Leading off with Makuhita, that's... an okay Pokémon. Actually, Hariyama is pretty good, so once it evolves... it does evolve into a fairly usable Pokémon, surprisingly enough. even moderately tanky even now. And of course it's gonna spam endure because really why not at this point, right? That is not really worth me switching away from, because Tyrogue is not an impressive Pokemon. I mean, it's a, it's a baby Pokemon, I don't completely know what you expect, but you should lower your expectations even more. This might be, like, the the best Pokémon that this fella has, at least in terms of strength. Riolu is at least a regular Pokémon as opposed to being a babby. Oh, it took Shadow Ball. You jerk. You jerkus. It did no damage, though. That's fine. That's quite good, actually. Neener, neener. I forgot I had Water Absorb as my ability. That's... That's pretty solid. Can't complain about that. Uh, you, you need to go eat breakfast, my dude. Hey, cool. Free Citrus Berry. I'll be sure not to remember to do that. 
into the quad already? Yeah. But this might take two hits. Snow Run. That can be removed through a variety of methods. But it's also not very strong, so we could probably just stay with the course here. We might get, like, crunched or something. And that's about our main risk. I'll just stick with this. I'm pretty sure I can just Shadow Ball it a couple times. Oh no, we got Sludge Bomb. Never mind. That's even better. I just forgot. It's, yeah. Skitty. That's the perfect line. And lastly, a fan beat. That can be removed nice and easily through a surf. Fan beat's real great, though. Kinda wish I was able to get one of those, but yeah. Hey, nice and dirt, buddy. Good thing it didn't work. Excuse me. Jesus, that came through on the mic. That's incredibly unfortunate, to say the least. Well, uh, I'll be back in a second for obvious reasons. I.e., gotta get the hazmat equipment. I mean...
All right, I'm back. I was using the facilities and checking on the dog. Where's my item finder? Oh, hey, a rustling spot. We haven't seen one of those in a minute. This one is hopefully going to be some EXP. Yep. Sludge bomb should be enough to cancel it out now. Whatever. That thing should be toast. Yay! A big truckload of EXP for us. Very nice. This switch. But the first thing I'm going to want to do is go heal before I get into that double battle down there. We're almost done, don't worry. Double battle trainer, and there's one more, right? Two swoop bats, huh? Oh, we've got ghost moves on both of our Pokemon, so I feel like we can at least do good damage fast. Hopefully. Ah, oh, unfortunately one of our more moves got cancelled. Sight. Please don't flinch me. Dang it. Fine, I guess we'll sacrifice a little bit of the XP switch just to make sure that Buddy actually gets a little bit. a hyper potion instead of going back to heal just to prevent heading this out too much I mean I've got him I may as well Turn the dowsing machine back on even though I don't think there's anything left to get out here this you can oh yeah there's there's something
Looks like it's in a really awkward spot. Oh, hey, I didn't even realize. Neat. We'll take the EXP from this thing, that's for sure. This, I think, is more Audino, so we've encountered the entire playthrough, really. What we've seen today, that is. So getting that, we have to actually go here into Lacanosa Town and solve this maze, basically. Sheesh. Oh, excuse me. So that was the, the hidden item, I guess. That's right, give me this quarter of an experience point from the sun current. Come on, game. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, that was it, huh? Interesting that we detected it from all the way over there. Well, alright, buddy. Starting off with a Weedle. your third, buddy? Probably not, but... Ooh, the poison off of Poison Jab. Gross. Last Pokemon is indeed a Kakuna. That should be all the trainers on Route 12. Oh, 
All right. Save. That was a little rough, but that's okay. It should at least be easier in the future, and yeah, next time we'll probably get through more. And also, it won't be like five days between streams next time, I swear.